We just heard that song, Come, O Come, and Be My Prince of Peace. You know, would you come and rescue me? And um, there, we come in from all different walks of life with all different kinds of circumstances, uh, you know, to these concerts. You know, some people are having the, the best Christmas that they've ever imagined. Some people are walking in. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've had people say, say to me, you know, I was walking into your show. I, mean, I remember specifically one gentleman in Minneapolis, Minnesota years ago who said, I was walking into your show, and as I was walking through the doors of the church, I was in my head uh, thinking about the process about how I was going to kill myself the next day. And God spoke to me in this concert that there's hope for me. Um, and that man is still alive today. You know, he and I have kept in touch. And so it's one of those deals where I want to be able to give people an opportunity to connect with God no matter where they're at. We all uh, are in need of a connection with God. And so um, the things that are important to us, the things that we desperately are in need of this Christmas, a lot of those things, it's not like a million dollars or a Lamborghini, but things like peace, things like hope, things like redemption, things like salvation, um, things like love that doesn't fail, life that's more abundant, life that's everlasting. These are the reasons that God came. And so tonight we're going to give people an invitation to really articulate in a very specific way, what is it that I'm in need of from Christ this Christmas? But we're also going to give people an opportunity to also kind of lay down or surrender some of these things that that these very heavy burdens that people have been carrying for a very long time. Um, and, and just because you lay it down doesn't mean that you may not have to lay it down again tomorrow or the next day or the next day. But to get all of us collectively and individually in the idea of this holiday season and the craziness and the chaos and everything of the season, to be able to get our hearts and our minds in a place where we're focused on, on where our hope comes from, on who our help is. And so we're going to give people an opportunity tonight to get very uh, specific with themselves, not with anybody else, but just with them, to get really honest with themselves about what are the things that I need to surrender to God this Christmas? What are the things that are, that are holding me back in my life? What are the things that are so weighing down on my shoulders and in my heart that make this such a hard season of life? Um, and to be able to kind of lay some of those things down and to see what God would do with them.